What's up, everybody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Albert Freres. I'm a professional skateboarder, and this has been a long-awaited video. A lot of people ask me, how did you get into the Olympics? How do you become an Olympic skateboarder? I represent the Dominican Republic. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be giving you the ins and outs on how to become an Olympic skateboarder and how to get into the Olympics, how to get an Olympic ranking, and what is the steps to get selected by a federation, how to get in contact with the federation, what other steps and tips for more. All right, so here's the first step. This is the first step you need to do. You have to attend a national skateboarding event from the country you are from first. That's rule number one. You need to attend a national skateboarding championship, which is an open qualifier for the Olympics. So basically, if you're um, Brazilian, you go to Brazil and you attend a national skateboarding competition. When you, when you compete, you will then get an Olympic ranking. When you have an Olympic ranking, you can talk to the Federation to ask them if they can select you as an athlete to represent that country in the Olympics. But they have to select you as an athlete, which means you either have to be good, but there's, you don't have to be the best. So you compete if you place first, second, third, up until fifth, excuse me, up until fifth place, you're automatically eligible to compete in the Olympic event. All you have to do is get in contact with the Federation. All right? So once you reach communication with the Skateboarding Federation of your country, for instance, mine was Dominican Republic. I competed 2021 and I placed third. I, was, I got third place. I hope you guys are patient with this video. I don't normally make videos this long. This is my first one, so I'd appreciate if you guys hit that subscribe button because I'm giving you some information that nobody's going to give you. Absolutely nobody. Nobody's going to tell you this, okay? So there is a... There is an organization which runs... which runs the Olympic skateboarding, which is World Skate. As you can see right here, World Skateboarding, World Skate. That's their logo right there. World Skate is the ones that basically control the skateboarding Olympics. Absolutely control the skateboarding Olympics. Um, they control the funding, which goes to the Federation once you're selected to skate as an athlete. All right, so this is the big problem. I was born in America. My dad and my mother are Dominican. I skateboarded in a national skateboarding competition in Dominican Republic, and I won. I played. I didn't win. I I I, I, I got number. I got third place. So it automatically made me eligible to compete. So I reached out to the Federation of the Dominican Republic and told them I want to compete. They selected me then as an athlete to represent the Dominican Republic. When I did, when they did that, I then needed to take some tests and take some classes which they're going to give you an application on how to be um, a proper athlete without um, using substances to enhance your, your capabilities. Um, it's, a, it's simple. You can do that in one day. So after that, it's a little, a little um, e-class. Um, after that, then you make an application. You make a profile. Once you make your profile, the federation then sends an, an email to World Skate. World Skate sends them an email, and your profile gets um, active as a selected athlete to represent that country. Once you're selected as an athlete to represent the country, once you're selected and you're done the process for the, the application, when there's events, at events you'll be notified. And as long as you have funding or you have money to pay for to attend these Olympic events, you can. If you can pay for it, you can go. You just have to have the federation select you as an athlete. You need to be, get in contact with whatever federation is for whatever country you're in. The country that you want to represent, that skateboarding federation is the ones in charge on selecting the athletes. So you reach out to them, and once they select you as an athlete, then you can, you can through the application, pay a registration fees for these events, and then you can participate and be an Olympic athlete. You're not.
not gonna get this info from anyone else. If you guys have any more questions, if you have any absolutely any questions, feel free to reach out, send me a comment, and I will get back to you. Please subscribe and share. Thank you guys.